Hey, what's good, fam? Coach Rod here. I'm going to talk about signs that you are being used. Sign number one, whenever a person is emotionally unavailable, that means that that person does not communicate with you on their feelings or they don't care about your feelings, how you feel. Um, they just, the communication is not there. When a person is emotionally unavailable and they are with you, that is a sign that you are being used. Another sign is when you that person does not make you a spend time with you and that does not make you a priority. When you are with somebody and you feel like that person does not make time with you, every time that you try to plan do something, they got an excuse why they can't make time for you. It may be sometimes where they gonna they'll make time for you, but you you gotta pull teeth, you gotta beg, you you gotta you gotta do all these things. To get a person to spend time with you. If you're going through that, if you're with somebody, if you're in a relationship, uh, it could be a friendship. you calling somebody, they hardly ever answer the phone. And every now and then they'll answer, they'll talk, but they'll keep it short. And, you know, they don't really want to, you know, really uh, hold a conversation with you. These are some signs that. You are being used. And this could go for men and women. Because a lot of women use men as well. And you know. This can go for uh, a man who's being used for his money. This video can go for a woman who's being used just for sex. So it can go both ways. Another sign that you are being used is. When that person is not affectionate towards you. Non-affection. Uh, a lot of times. that If y'all together. If y'all live together. But that person is not affectionate with you. Now, ladies, I want you to understand this. When a man truly is in love with you and you are, and he, uh, you are attractive to him and you are his type uh, physically, it's hard for a man to live with you and does not show you no affection at all. Um, it's very hard for a man. It's hard for a man to live with you and not you know, want to be physically with you. Just being real. It's hard. So, if that's going on in your life, in your relationship, in your situation, ship, or whatever it is, it's not a relationship, really. It's a situation ship when you are being used. You're being used. You're being used. Um, and the same thing for you men. If a woman don't want you to hold her, cuddle her, you know, be affectionate towards her, Nine times out of ten, you are being used because a woman love for a man to give her some type of attention and affection. Women crave for that. So again, it goes both ways. Whenever a per, an, a, another sign is whenever a person is disrespecting you, and they just continue to disrespect you, they don't respect you, and they just continue to disrespect you and y'all together y'all together y'all live together y'all a couple but they just don't stop disrespecting you that is a sign that but they won't leave you though they won't leave you though but they will disrespect you that is a sign that you are being used and you got to understand this as a human being as a person you deserve better you deserve better. And you once you know your worth and what you deserve, you won't allow anybody to use you. We are living in a time now that everybody is not looking for love. They're looking for help. A man, and I did a video about this before, a man will marry a woman just for a place to stay. And a lot of men right now are married to women. And yeah, and, and they're not even having sex. They're not even having sex. Going by months. Ladies, listen to me, ladies. This is for the ladies right here. Listen to me. If you married to a man and y'all sleeping in different rooms and y'all ain't having no sex, it's a situation. It's a situation where but this this couple they they're not married, but they live together they together. And they have to stay together for the for the least purpose, you know, for the least. And, um, but they sleep in different rooms and they're not having sex. 
because of the, the man cheated before over and over again. So the woman, you know, she don't, they got kids together. Another thing too, they got kids together. So, okay, he, he, he can stay here. He could be on the lease because he have to be on the lease for us to de obtain his house. But, listen, uh, no sex. He sleep on a different room. I sleep in a different room. Ladies, let me tell you something. Um, uh, uh, the average man, unless he's a godly man, unless he submitted to God, and he got some kind of morals and values and some kind of accountability in his life, the average man is not going to go a long time without sex. The average man is not going to go a long time without sex. So if you are with a man and, 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 if, and, and he good with y'all sleeping in separate places, if y'all married or whatever situation may be, and he good with y'all sleeping in separate places and, and, and y'all don't do nothing actively, and the only reason you got him there for whatever reason, both of y'all are using each other. And I'm going to tell you something. Don't think that man, maybe women do it too. I don't know women, so I really can't say too much about women. But I know men because I'm a man. And a man, a normal man, is not going to go a long time without, without doing that. Especially, he's been doing it before. He's just not going to cut sex off. So, if a man is with you. And y'all married or y'all in a situation ship because it's not a relationship. And he good with not touching you. He good with not being sexually involved with you for months. Trust me, he hitting something else. He hitting something else. And if his name on your lease, if he's in your place, you being used. You being used for a place to stay. A lot of time, a man, they'll, they'll dog you out and treat you wrong. They'll do what I just said. They'll, they, they, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll be emotionally unavailable, no quality time, no time with you, making excuses why they want to spend time with you. Be, do not show you no affection, disrespect you, but they won't leave you. Why? Because they are using you. They are using you. And a lot of y'all women, and y'all reason why y'all with these men because you got a child from them and you want to make it right because of the child but guess what you don't think children know children see everything children are not are not are not slow trust me they understand what's going on and when you stand for the kids when you allow a man to use you for the kids it's only going to get worse and the same thing for the men. If you allow a woman, because a lot of times a man will stay with a baby mama because the kids or because maybe he don't want to pay child support, whatever, whatever, whatever. But the same thing to the men. Same thing to the men. You teach a person how to treat you by what you allow and by what you accept. And whenever you allow a person to do these things to you, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse because why? You are reinforcing bad behavior. And whenever you reinforce something, that means you support it. And whenever you support something, it strengthens. It gets stronger. It gets stronger. So if you're in a situation like this right here, you're being used. And you deserve better. You deserve better. But at the end of the day, it's only going to get better. When you demand that it get better. It's only going to get better when you put your foot down. And just walk away. Because you better off being single by yourself. Than to be with somebody who is using you. Using you for your money. Using you for your body. Using you for a place to stay. And when that's going on in your life. What you are doing is. You are losing your sanity. Losing your peace of mind. And you are being unhappy and you're being miserable. And guess what? All you're doing is releasing that hormone in your body called cortisol. And I'm going to tell you something. It, it, you better off smoking cigarettes than, than, than being with somebody in a toxic situation that you're being used and taken advantage of. 
you bet off smoking cigarettes. Because that will happen to your heart when you're going through stuff like this. Your heart is, when you stress out, when you when your body releases that hormone called cortisol, that, I'm telling you, your, it, it squinches your heart. It makes your heart beat faster. Your heart is like a muscle. And before you know it, you're going to have a heart attack. And one of the worst stresses you can have is relationship stress. So why are you allowing this person to use you? You got to start being a codependent. You got to understand you can make it without that person. But it all start with you. It is Coach Rod. God bless you. Stop being used.